I am an enormous creature and that's why I'm dominating everybody. I also don't ever feel the cold because I'm so manly. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about, obviously, these very large elephants that are sitting next to that magnificent picture that Fergus created for you there. Was it not wonderful? And they're feeding very gently through this very thick kind of riverine vegetation on the fringes of the... Fergus? Philemon's Drainage line, drain. yes. Philemon's drain. They're walking through Philemon's drain as we speak. And the reason, or one of the reasons they've come to Philemon's drain is that Philemon's drain is now full of water. And it's full of water because another elephant, probably not from this herd, has pulled up the pipe from which we get all of our water. And so there is water all over the place now that will unfortunately uh, occupy much of the day, I suspect, for our maintenance crew. <laughs> they are very naughty, these elephants. wonderful time now walking along in the early morning they love this weather it's nice and cool for them there's lots of moisture on the food which means that they will probably not be nearly as thirsty as they are normally of course because elephants get enormously thirsty on account of the fact that well they've just eat need a huge amount of water because of the dry food that they normally eat We will follow them. We'll follow them along the road called Ingwe Alley shortly. That's just up down through there. Let's have one more look at this beautiful scene here. Ali, sorry, I missed your question. I'm going to get it again. What was that? I'm afraid I, I don't understand your question, and that's not a fault of your question, it's a fault of me, I'm sure. You say, are the elephant's ears sensitive based on their size? I'm afraid I, I don't... I, I, in other words, the bigger they are, are they more sensitive? Oh, you mean their ability to hear? Probably. Uh, I don't think so for elephants so much. Remember that the ear here does not function in the same way that a wild dog's or cat's ear functions. It functions completely differently. Oh dear, we seem to be rolling forward. Um, <laughs> what happens with something like a wild dog or a cat is that their ears are like satellite dishes so they focus the sound into the middle of the ear and so the bigger they are the more effective they are at picking up sound a wild dog's a great example they have exceptional hearing an elephant's ear is designed completely differently an elephant's ear is designed not for hearing well obviously the inner ear is designed for hearing but the rest of the ear is designed to keep the animal cool. They've got those blood vessels that flow through the ears and they flap and the blood cools and it goes to the brain. They are in no way cupped around the opening to the ear and so they therefore don't make any difference to the ability that the elephant has to hear. I'm sure if they open them out like that, which often you do see them do, and then they turn their heads and their face, that probably does allow the, the sound to sort of all it doesn't filter the sound, it um, concentrates the sound into the ear. But by and large, when they're walking along, they're just flapping their ears along like this. I think it probably almost acts as a hindrance if they're trying to pick exactly where a sound is coming from. If you do this, when you're next listening to something, you can, you'll find that the, your field of, of hearing narrows very much, but that you're able to pick up sounds quite nicely from a unidirectional position. And so when the elephant opens its ears out, yes, I imagine it probably does hear a certain amount uh, better, but by and large, they're not designed in the same way that something like a wild dog's or a cat's ears would be.